not you know I'm not quite sure what uh, you know Dee's thinking was. I think I was surprised just watching it. Thinking you know he think he's going to second first base, so um, not quite sure what he was what what his thinking was there. But obviously it ends up costing us a couple. Yeah, I mean that's the way things are going. It seems everything you know you just got to make the plays. So. Well, you know obviously Jose was really good today, and, and their guy was good. Uh, our offense really didn't get anything clicking with that their guy today. Uh, Hosey was keeping us right in the game, and even up right till there, you know, we're in a one nothing game. So uh, you'd like to think the last couple innings are a little different, you know, with a one run game and a three, but you still don't know that. So, but again, Hosey was good. Um, our guys out of the pen, you know, after that kept it there, and you know, give us a chance. Been a tough home stand. How do you describe the state of things now? Yeah, I don't, I don't really. I think I've described the state of things over the last few days. Um, today's game didn't go the way we wanted it. Hosey pitched good. You know, we we could have helped him more. We didn't do enough offensively to to win the game. So. What have you seen from Ring that's you know getting him to back into games or just kind of progressing? Well. He's got stuff, and he's and he's really pitches fearless. You know, he's a kid. He's he's fun to watch because he's on the attack, and there, there's absolutely no fear in this guy. You can tell the way he pitches that he's coming after you, and he don't really care who you are. So, you know, it's it's fun to watch him pitch, and you know he seems to be getting bigger and stronger all the time. So, uh, he's a guy that you, know, you look forward to to watching him pitch. I think his stuff is good. He's using more more of his he's using his breaking ball more. Uh, to keep you off balance, but in general, he's coming, and and he's he he runs the ball in off the plate. He he goes in on guys. He he, he opens up the plate for himself, so uh, he's fun to watch. Is it safe to say he's earned he's earned a starting spot for the foreseeable future? Now? Yeah, I think so. As, as a manager, what 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 can you what can you do? I mean, what can you say to a club when you're going through a stretch like this? I mean, we we've said it all. There's there's nothing really to say at this point. Uh, you know, you're obviously you're going to keep working. You're going to keep doing your, keep, you know, keep preparing. Uh, it's about your process and getting ready to play, and, and just not giving in. Again, we went over this whole uh, talk for the last three or four times, so it's it's kind of wasted noise at this point. McCullough is a, is a close friend of Jose's, and say he's pitching a lot of emotion out there. What kind of stuff does he have? Johnny? Yeah, great stuff. He got really good stuff. Uh, you know, it's a power arm. You got a good breaking ball. He's throwing a power change up. Uh, using it seems like more of a two seamer. I'd seen him a few years back. Uh, just like uh, it's a it's a little different than I, I'd seen before. Uh, but obviously these guys continue to grow up and get stronger as you know from the first time they get to the big leagues, and uh, it's good stuff. Uh, really was a good approach. You want them to get get that first hit and just try. Yeah, JT's it. looking better. He's having better swings. He walks a couple of times today. Uh, which is going to be important for him. Um, you know, he's ha he's having better at bats. And I think when we seen the first time up, it was, you know, a little little rough for him. He has a short stint back in, in AAA, and, and you, you see a little different guy here. And I think that's what happens with um, if a guy can play, you see the younger guys that make adjustments and they get better. Well, he had that double drop in, and then Dietrich comes up, gets him to be out, and he had two outs there to play with. Did you got feel like guys are gripping the bat a little tight right now to try to generate something? Well, I'm sure they're they're trying to generate something. Obviously, we had we didn't have a lot of chances, but we had a few. And uh, you know, in a game like this, it's a big hit here or there. Um, you know, over this series, you know, they have a guy that that we we have a chance to get it out. He hits a grand slam. We have a chance to get McCann out last night. He hits a ball in the gap and drives in three. So, I mean, you always have that chance. And and again, I think. You know, again, trying to anal analyze it, but everybody wants to drive in runs. Everybody's trying. It's just a matter of, you know, you got to get that big hit. Mr. Springer said four pretty close to it. It seemed. You know, yeah, I almost felt like he dove over the top of that. I couldn't tell. I haven't looked at it, but you know, it, it again, <laughs> it gets through. We, we get the out there. We're we're still at one nothing. Nobody's talking about the other play. So, um, yeah, that's one of those things. He can hit. Yeah, he can hit. John, with the team, what 
team for sale, you've talked about the need to focus, and that's what teams do. Do you continue to think that the uncertainty of the situation is not creeping onto the field? You, you'd have to ask guys. Um, I think it's something that you know is there and and looming, but I don't know if it has any effect on. I can't, you know, in my mind, if I'm playing, it doesn't have any effect on the way I play. So I can only say it from a player standpoint. You know, I know getting ready to play a game, you're not really worrying about what's going on with the sell of a ball club. Uh, so I would say no, but I, I can't speak for guys. But given this tough, tough stretch right now, do things start to compound? I mean, the play would be, I mean, after one, one little play, do they start to hang their heads and then say, oh, here we go again? Absolutely. I think, I think we do. Um, you know, and I think that's any team, though. You know, when you go through a tough stretch, but this has just been unusually. I don't know if I've ever been through one quite like this. Do you think going on the road might help change things? Sure. You, you said quite we like said that last time when we left at the last home stand. You say quite like this, Don. What do you, what do you mean? I mean, I'm sure you've had stretches where, you, you know. Well, just this is right. extended for me. We, you know, we again, the question you asked me is, I feel like it's going to be better to go on the road. Uh, you know, and I felt like that when we left last time. We had a, we had a rough home stand. We go out on the road, and we have a rough rough road trip. Uh, then you come back in, you go, well, maybe the home's going to get us going, and then you have a rough home stand. So, I mean, at some point, you just got to play better.